Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Akiba's Trip. Akiba is a game about being an otaku, who in between his wife who worshipping must fight vampires. So you got some customization options here. Uh, not too much we can do, since we just started this game. And I'll just use the default name right now. Just in case this is one of those situations where it's confusing if you don't. Dramatic backstory. Telling the legend of how the otaku paradise was formed. How all these waifu and waifu lovers managed to arrive at one place and share their passions. Also, at some point, it, apparently vampires decided to invade and, uh... Oh look, people keep their virginity past age you turn into fairies. Usually that's supposed to be you become a master wizard, but... I guess over here you become fairies. Mm, morning already. Let me sleep just a little longer. I had a wonderful dream. I was transported to a world of 2D. It was beautiful. Well, well. Seems you've finally come around. So you're the asshole who woke me up for my awesome dream. I believe congratulations are in order. You've officially passed the compatibility exam and are now ready to begin your life anew as a synthester. Synthester. My god, I've been captured by Shocker. Do you plan to turn me into a common rider? That should be kind of nice. Am I strapped to a table? How'd I get here? I was I was headed to a job interview for some part-time gig that was supposed to pay in rare figures. But what happened after the interview? I can't remember. Now, now. Try to stay calm. You did sign the contract, didn't you? I, I think that's the point of me not being able to remember. I, I wouldn't know if I signed a contract whatsoever. Contract. I guess I signed something, but... Let's have a look at it, shall we? Pertaining to the experiments and business affairs of the organization, the signee... Ah, that's you. Does hereby agree to faithfully and willfully cooperate and participate in all assigned activities without objection. As compensation, the organization agrees to remit rare and valuable character goods, figurines and books, per the signee's wishes. Sounds like a deal. Really, they're rather shady terms. It's a wonder you'd ever endorse such a document. <laughs> Do you know how much some of my holy grails cost? I'm lucky if I find $400. They're most likely going for 600 Just give me my figurines. Well now, aren't we feisty? A healthy attitude, though, for what lies ahead. Either way, fortune has smiled upon you today, as you are the only one for whom this experiment succeeded. You, more than any other, overflow with desire. Your attachment to physical objects is stronger than I've ever seen before. I do have a lot of figurines, and video games, and other things I don't want to mention. The others simply couldn't measure up. They were failures and were thus 
ask to leave. There to exist as the hunted, you see. Damn it. Just give me my figurines already. <laughs> no need to look so concerned. I am concerned. If you lied to me. Perhaps I should tell you a bit more about the Synthesters. Synthesters are chosen beings. Superhumans who exceed ordinary humans in terms of motor reflexes and raw strength alike. To fulfill their own desires, they exert a truly unfathomable power. One could even say their potential is downright infinite. There is a catch, however. They have a certain weakness to the light of the sun. It's their Achilles heel. We're so powerful, you could say our power is infinite. Except we're weak to pretty much half the entire day. You could almost think of them as man-made vampires. Though without the unfortunate thirst for blood, of course. V vampires? Am I no longer human? Do I only have a desire for waifus and figurines and... I think that's what I was already. Everyone else in the room has undergone this same metamorphosis into a chosen being. They are the same as you. So they also like figurines? I think I have at least two sabers here. We can always add some more. Look, <laughs> just give me the damn figures. You came for a job, no? Well, that's all I want from you. I need some part-time help, and you newly born Synthesters are just the ones to provide it. Help? Oh, it's nothing like what you're thinking, I'm sure. It's a simple job. Something anyone can do, really. You're to attack the people wandering the streets of Akiba and absorb their life energy. Don't worry, it won't kill them. I simply wish to borrow that which gives them the will to carry on from day to day. <laughs> Joke's on you. We have no will to carry on. Simply drain their life energy and bring it back to us and your job will be complete. You guys are going to be here for a long time, I'm just saying. <laughs> Should maybe pick somewhere else. And of course you will be handsomely rewarded for your efforts. As much as you'd like will be yours for the taking. I don't see my figurines. No deal. It takes an iron will to remain so oblivious under such dire circumstances. Don't joke with me, Bub. But I have no need for a minion who can't even comprehend the gravity of his situation. You two, get him out of here. Take him somewhere the sun shines. Then dispose of him in... The Conda River or some such place. Sun. Are we really so different from vampires? I mean... We, we don't really go outside much, we just kind of stay inside watching anime and playing video games and obsessing over figurines or waifus, I think. The sun would have the same effect on us as the vampires. Yes, my master! May your slumber be restful forevermore. You really like the dramatics, don't you? I'm gonna punch your face out when I get a chance later. Oh! I guess I'm dead. Er... I... I was a vampire, so I was already undead, but... I guess I'm un-dead-dead. Dead. Hmm. You're as foolish as you look, it would seem. A pity, really. Well, the choice is yours. Just know this. Defective goods must be destroyed. That's not true. Some defects are actually worth more if they're more unique or rare. Like that one saber figure. Which became a holy grail in itself, just because how awful it was. You would know this if you were one of us, and not just a poser. Master Zenya, we have a situation! I don't like the sound of that. What's wrong? What's wrong is my avatar doesn't have a gas mask yet my model does! Th there's an intruder! In the building! Right now! Also, my lips don't move. An intruder? What happened to the guards? Ah! 
So what happened to the guards was we were ambushed by some kind of cute anime girl who with an umbrella. Uh, we should really hire new guards because apparently all of ours got defeated by an umbrella. Can you move? Who Follow are you? Me. We're getting out of here. Subdue the intruder now. Yes, my master. <laughs> it's so weird how the lips don't move. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get away quite so easily. We'll have to fight until an opportunity presents itself. Let's see, L1 for combat mode. Let's see, it's kind of Shenmue like, I guess. Target head, target upper body, target lower. Oh, in the block. So left a stick in the opposite direction. Simple enough. Now is our best chance. Move. Damn you. Damn you. And damn your umbrellas. How dare you make light of us. Do you truly expect me to let you escape so easily? Our only weakness. Sun. And umbrellas. And a lot of other things. Maybe being a vampire wasn't too useful after all. You shielded me? Are you all right? Uh, I'm just feeling terrible pain. I think all my internal organs ruptured. But I should be fine. I am the protag. It must be over dramatic. Men, surround them. Whatever you do, don't let them escape. Yes, my master. They'll never get past my mustache. I'm going for it. Stay close behind me. I think we lost them. Are you alright? Can you still walk? You're injured. This is from when you shielded me, isn't it? You still seem to be in full control, but it won't be long. Just give me my figurines, and everything will be fine. Until that's not the case. Very well, if I have no choice. I'm going to share some of my blood with you. This will most likely save you, but it may bring you even greater suffering in the days to come. Honey, every day of my life is internal suffering. If you think you're willing to take that chance, then please, drink my blood. <laughs> oh well. You don't get these chances too often. I could swear I just sensed a wicked notion from you, but... No, I'm sure it was nothing. This blood will lead you down a difficult road, I fear. But in the end, your fate is your own to shape. <laughs> I, Shizuku Tokikaze, do hereby decree that this man, whose blood will soon resonate with my own, be welcomed among us. This game has already become too lewd for me. It seems to have taken. And thankfully, your wounds are now healed. Hmm. We'll just go with this one. Let's get the introductions going. My name is Shizuku Tokikaze. What is yours? Hmm. First one sounds kind of cool. 
Second one's kind of normal. Third one's pretty casual. Uh, I'll go with the next second one. No, this one sounds enthusiastic. It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you've heard the rumors, haven't you? That monsters have been attacking people on the streets of this town. I am a hunter. It is my duty to slay these monsters. These synthesters. Synthesters. Does that mean you'll hunt me too? Typically, those who are transformed into synthesters lose all sense of reason. They blindly, violently pursue all that they desire. Isn't that what I already do? I think we just had the discussion these vampires aren't too different from what we currently are. Fortunately, you managed to avoid being swallowed up by your own material lust. Oh, I've been swallowed up by that for years. As far as I can determine, you still seem to be fully capable of rational thought. Though I suppose that's because of the blood contract. You're something more than a synthester now. No, never mind. Your wounds may have healed, but you're still weak. And you're still extremely vulnerable to sunlight. I suppose I should have customized my name. They weren't actually going to call it out, but I guess that's alright. During the daytime, you'll need to take care not to expose any of your skin below the neck. Otherwise, your body may dissolve. I'm already antisocial. This doesn't bode well. I suppose not. Though ultimately, locking yourself away in a dimly lit room could well be for the best. This means I'm truly doomed to become a wizard. It may take some time for your body to heal. I'd suggest we rest here for the night. I don't think they'll find us here anytime soon. Really wish I had a pillow and a futon. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if he's implying something with this one, or if he just means I wish I had something comfortable. We'll try it out. Try your best to relax. You should be able to move again come morning. <sighs> morning. I half expected to wake up and find that this whole thing was just a dream. But no such luck, I guess. Are you up? I'm sorry to ask this first thing in the morning, but do you know of any safe havens in the area? Maid cafes. They are a gift from God. We won't accomplish anything by wandering aimlessly through the streets after all. I'd prefer someplace quiet where we can regroup, but anywhere is fine as long as it's secure. Hmm. I'll go the casual option. That doesn't sound quiet at all, but I suppose it's as good a suggestion as any. They have maids there. That's all that matters. All right then. Will you show me the way? Electric Town Exit. So, smartphone during the game, smartphone is very style. So, pretty much options. Oh, email. And they can send advertisements right to my pocket. How nice. I've been outbid on my auction. You bastard. My 1 8th scale Pinkers and Beach Edition figure! <laughs> have sniped it. Brody bro 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 shabadu. Bro, where are you? Uh, I've always vanishing. Kaito. Anime recordings are piling up. What? Respond to him, it seems. Just can read him. Ah, here's the email. Part time work is needed, unique benefits. 
Unique benefits such as you dying in sunlight, unable to cross water, and somehow being defeated by umbrellas. I don't know, that rare out of print character goods was awfully tempting. I would take it. You only live once. So let's see, we have a camera option here. Foreign tourist. Riff raff. Raff, who are you? Google schoolboy Aki too. Are you guys running? I'm just trying to do the Assassin's Creed thing and pass by you. Do you want to gently pat? Everyone seems to be scared of me. The sad day. Let's check my pitter. Let's see. Talk of indiscipline, Rakiba. Not as many people in mid cafes openings. That's kind of weird. God, there's so many tweets. I didn't think there'd be this many. I thought it'd just be like a couple of them. I'm just gonna fall into that kind of stupid scam anyway. This idiot right here. Gotta go for the gold. Even if that gold might kill you or turn you into a vampire. Well, let's just go to the game bar. This is pretty nice, actually. Reminds me of the Yakuza games, just a different location. It has that same kind of sense of scale. And a pretty accurate, uh, oh, conception too. It actually has ads for actual things. Huh. How are you feeling? Like a muscle man. Kiniku, kiniku. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't forget what I told you yesterday. Your body is extremely sensitive now. Exposure to direct sunlight could dissolve you completely. Keep a close eye on your clothing. Don't let yourself get stripped down. I doubt the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. So, after your underwear... Huh. I don't think they'll go quite that far. Why do I get the feeling you're just as likely to attack me as anyone else? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Shifty eye. Oh, they're here. The See the we pink wiffle bat floating off his back? Filthy failures with her too. Let's smush them both. One of these days, you guys are actually going to be able to emote, you know, and it's, you're going to feel a whole lot better about yourselves. They're the same as us, poor souls with a fatal weakness to sunlight. Damn! Why couldn't they have sent girls? Their sex is not our concern. My mission is to fight them until they're subdued. You should be able to feel it too by now. The power to fight, awakening within you. Come, join me in this battle. I can, I can feel it. It feels like I'm some kind of protagonist. It can't be helped. We fight. 
you. Get him. Targeting him. Ah. So it's not just rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> First, we'll take off this stupid trendy headband of yours. Yeah, they don't feel so cool after all, huh? Yes, burn with your shame. You and your tidy whities Alright, we've stripped him. Of both their dignity and their life. We won. We did, somehow. I was so caught up in the moment, I barely noticed how well we were doing. Where did all this strength come from? Hmm, who's that? Damn that backpack. Broski, you're alive! Okay. I hadn't heard from you in three days. I thought maybe somebody chipped you off somewhere. Stare. Gee. Who's this lady? She's not part of the Freedom Fighters, is she? This is my other love interest. Um, she's joining this harem here, and I guess I'm gonna have to choose between you guys, and it's gonna be very awkward. And I'm gonna ramp up that awkwardness right about now. Ah, oh, shut it. We all know you still have your V-card. <sighs> anyway, you must atone for leaving me alone and worried these past three days. You're not allowed to tell these people I'm on my way to be a wizard. It's out of my hands, I can do whatever I want. The present situation is thus. There is approximately one little sister standing before you, desiring of a character tea, which that shop over there just got in. Your mission? Purchase shirt for adorable sister. Anything for my motto. Ah, they actually, the option was actually there. God, this option. Oh my god. Well, let's just tip the fedora. I'm happy now. Thanks, protagonist. I like that word. I can add that up to it with bromance and, uh, romantic. Being related to her is so damn expensive. I'll let it go with just a warning expenditure this time. But next time you disappear like that, you'd better be ready to declare bankruptcy. The other Freedom Fighters have been really worried about you, too. So make sure you've got your story straight when you see them. The longer you wait to explain yourself to everyone, the more danger you'll be in. Yeah, that's a good point. Also, between you and me, I'm a little embarrassed to see you traipsing about in such shoddy attire. Stop by any time you're back at base, and I'll give you a makeover. For a small fee, of course. Just something to keep in mind. The present situation, however, is that this sunlight shines far too brightly for a humble shut-in such as I. You see, my points just keep getting reinforced here. The vampires are no different from your average attendee of this city. Therefore, your adorable sister shall now coolly take her leave. I'll see you back at base. I'll see you later, Speedwagon.
Your little sister is certainly unique. Oh, not at all. She's actually very much a generic Emoto type character. So, are we far from the headquarters of these Akiba Freedom Fighters? If we don't get moving soon, we could be attacked again at any moment. Yeah, I guess we did draw some attention to ourselves. If we head through UD+, Plus, we'll be there no time flat. So, uh, you come around here fighting vampires often? That's the mail. Just from my Emoto. So that's it for Akiba Strip Part 1. It's kind of a very quirky game. The combat isn't anything too special. It's kind of similar to the Yakuza games, but not as in-depth, and not as many special moves. But it's a game really not designed around combat, it's more of just experiencing the area, experiencing the kind of atmosphere of the game and the quirky humor. And in that quality, it's pretty good actually. While I am less playing this game at the moment, it's not going to be something I'm going to be rushing to finish. And if it gets kind of boring and gimmicky, I'll probably drop it at some point. But right now, you can expect to see some future episodes of this game. Because it's certainly something different from the usual horror and grim darkest stuff I've been playing lately. Or things that get released. Anyway, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for Akiba Strip Part 2.